How do you do Java DC and this video we are going to create some sub elements like fascia, gutter, soffit for our roofs and convert our roofs from this to this in minutes. I have two separate roofs in here which are different in some sense and I want to tell you some tips about each one in here. The first step that you need to do for both of them is roof fascia. Just go to the roof part and click on roof fascia and just uh, select the roof edges in here for example in this part and this part and this part and this part and you can see we have the fascia but the depth of it is not enough so you need to select the fascia and go to the edit type and in here you can change the profile of it because it's controlled by profile for example let's put it on a higher number maybe this one Click on OK. We need a uh, bigger one. If you didn't have any bigger profile, it's not a big deal. Just uh, remember the profile name. You can see we have fascia flat. And then you need to go to the families in your project browser. And in here, let's go to the profiles. We have fascia flat in here. Uh, let's select this one and let's duplicate from it. Uh, let's go to the properties of this one. And let's change the name to something bigger, maybe 300. And let's put the height on 302. Click on OK and OK. And now you need to go to the fascia again and you need to change the type, to the new type that we've made. For example, this one, click on OK and OK. It's not enough, we need a bigger one too. Let's go in here and let's go to the type properties. And let's put the height maybe on 500 and that's enough you can play with the number for example maybe 500 is too much let's put it on 400 and now our fascia is right and now it's the time to add our soffit but before to do that i will add the fascia for this one and then we can talk about the soffits. Now it's time to add our soffits in here. To add soffits, you can go to the level two or you can do, the, do this in 3D2. Let's put it on wireframe. From here, let's put it on wireframe and that's okay. Uh, let's go to the roof again and let's put it on, let's select the roof soffit and select the level and just for the first part, you need to Assign the roof edges. To do that, just click on the roof, pick roof edges and select any part of your roof. And now you have the roof edges and then click on select uh, pick wall and select your walls too. If you ended up with the interior edges, just click on this arrow in here, which flip the uh, side of the wall pick. Now that's great. Uh, let's click on finish. And now let's go to the hidden line mode. Uh, let's go to the front part you can see we have our soffit in here this is a really big one let's put it on a really low number let's go to edit and let's put it on maybe about 50 or even less for this tutorial three centimeter that's great let's move it to a lower part first for example this part and then just select it and put it underneath here. And now you can see it's okay. And also you can change the material to it. I've assigned a default material, PVC material to this. I want to do the same thing for our Sophie 2. Let's select the PVC, click on okay and okay. And now it's great, but for these parts, we don't have the right, uh, we don't have the right a slope for example in this part you can see it's a flat but it needs to adapt the slope in here to be able to do that if we would do the same thing for here it would be fine but for this one it's not so we need to adapt the slope to do that select this one and let's go to the edit boundary and for this one let's uh, delete these parts in here and just let's close this part in this one and let's use t -rim and extend for this part and let's do the same thing for this part too now we have uh, one is in here 
we can finish click on finish and then we have the one in here and now we need to mirror this one to the other side for example let's mirror it to the other side and for these parts in here for these parts in here we need to do something else to do that just click one of these and press cs for create similar and let's go to the top view and let's create a soffit for just one part and one part one eaves of one side of this slope that we have for example this part we can select the roof edges from here but it is better to create it manually in this part and then from there to here and also the only tip is here that you need to assign the exact slope to the uh, surface to for example you can select this and you can click on define a slope and give it a 30 degree slope and now you're good to go click on okay and finish and let's see the result in hidden line you can see we have the soffit in here and now we can use mm for mirroring and mirror it here let's select them from here and from here and let's go to the elevation or front view and let's bring them down to a, something like this now we need to move them up again to place them in the right place which can be which can be here let me move them from here to here here that's the right place for them and now it's the time to create the details for this part which is not that hard but before that i will do the same thing for this and then we can continue now i've done the suffix for this part too we can create the right detail for this side which we can use from suffix uh, fascias again let's go to the roof again uh, roof fascia and for here you need to uh, select this edge in here first press escape because we want another fascia not the one in this group click on roof fascia again and select this one and let's select this one and flip it select this one and flip it now we need to use a, a smaller one but before that select both of them and give them 300 or 30 millimeter offset to have the right edge in here and now we need to select these and can create new types for it for a smaller part for example let me select this smaller part or maybe this one and uh, I need to do the same thing for this one and now after doing this you can join them together go to the modify part click on join and join them together you can see it's not that hard you just need to be patient and do the right joints together for example let's join this with this and join this with this you can do the same thing for all of the parts and you will have no problem for the lines you just need to join all of them together and then you will have the right detail because it's repetitive for all of the uh, corners i will escape this now we made the right detail in here it's time to out the gotcha just go to the roof and click on gotcha and select the outer edges in here but before doing the, anything else let's go to the gotcha and let's go to the edit type and let's make it a bigger one maybe this one click on ok and now we have this and we can assign the right material to this for example let's again assign the pvc to this and let's press cs and let's create another one for this side and for these parts you can select all of them together to have the right gotcha for this part too but let's uh, do this for this one because it, it is more complicated in uh, comparison with this sample roofing here now we have the gotchers if you didn't want the uh, if you wanted to have a bigger gotcha you can go to the profiles and family profiles and can create the right profile for you and that's the way you can do that or you can find the uh, find this profile in here for example we have can find the gotcha in here you can find the gotcha profile in here 
and you can go to the type properties and here you have some uh, dimensions that can change and can create a duplicate from this font too but the next part that we want to have to complete our detailing is the cap for this part you can use model in place or can use any families but uh, all of them are right, but the better way is to have a solid uh, gotcha and create and uh, have it with a short lens. To do that, you need to open the profile of it. For example, let's see which type that we've used. For example, we've used and gotcha bevel and 150 and uh, in 150. We can open this one let's go to edit it and let's go to the edit family and then we can do we need to do some modifications in here we need to delete the inner parts like this this and this part and then let's select this one and let's select this one too and let's unlock it and let's use trim to trim this part and let's delete it and now we've just made a solid profile we can save it for ourselves let's get, save the family for example on desktop and let's put it on solid and now we can load it into our project and create the gutter cap at the end but before to do that make sure to like and subscribe us to help us create more videos like this and if you get access to the exercise files and additional perks you can go to our patreon page and can support us there now to do that just select the gotcha and go to the edit type and create a duplicate and let's name it cap and let's change the profile to the one that we made which was solid and the right type and now we've changed this one but we can put it to the previous one and now we can use that solid gotcha just go to the gotcha again and let's use that cap gotcha that we've made and let's select the exact edge that we uh, picked for the previous one and let's select this and let's go to the top view and from here you need to decrease the length of it for example let's put it on five centimeter or can you do put it on anything you want for example maybe 30 now you can select it and you can mirror it to the other side now we have the ones in here and now you can just join them to have the right view in these parts too and that's the part that you can add some caps for it the only part that is remaining is the our done pie, which is not that hard. You don't need to use any model in place. You just need to learn simple steps for pipes in Revit or system pipes in Revit. And now you can create them much easier. To do that, uh, let's go to the system part and let's click on pipe in here. And let's select the size that we want. For example, maybe 20. And now when you go to the, for example, one of your elevations, maybe east is the right one yes east is the right one now when you want to create your pipes you will understand when you for example you want to create an elbow but before that make sure to put the detail level on fine because you can't see the pipes otherwise let's create our uh, pipes let's select the pipe on a smaller number maybe five and now when you want to give it a slope in here it won't do that for you because you don't have any elbow family in here to uh, to solve this problem you have to insert a elbow family which is not that hard just select the pipe again and let's go to the edit type and let's go to the routing preference and in here you can see we don't have any elbow you can put a minimum size and maximum size, but i want to put it on all and for the elbow family and let's go to the uh, let's insert the family to do that click on load family in here and go to the rvt 2020 or any version we are using go to the library for example i'm going to use uk in here let's go to the pipes and fittings and then let's go to the list and we want to bring a generic elbow in here for example this one click on open and now you have the family you can change the family in here click on ok and if you got this arrow just change the don't uh, 
uh, don't put it on all and put it on maybe 15 to the maximum size and let's put uh, generic elbow click on ok and then ok and now we can start from here for example a little bit upper we can come here and we can create a slope in this part and now we can bring it to the to the edge that we have in here we can make it shorter if you want but it depends on your needs and now we need to move it to the right place let's go to 3d and in here you can see our pipes in here this is the not uh, this is not the right place and now let's move it to the right place if you are seeing them as a line make sure to put it on fine and now you can see the pipes much better now let's move it from this part to somewhere around here and now you have the right detail for your done pipes too you just uh, you just need to select them and now you can mirror it to the other parts of your roofs too let's press mm and now we have the done pipe in here too and it is much easier in comparison with the other parts and also if you want to know more about roofs make sure to watch this roof tutorial in here and you will understand more parameters about roof in Revit. And you can get access to all of our exercise files on Patreon. I will see you on the next session.